Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. You best know it, I am an Ana Luisa brand ambassador, and so I am bringing to you another segment. Ana Luisa is an ethical and sustainable jewelry brand, and usually in the jewelry business, companies aren't very open with their practices, but Ana Luisa focuses on transparent business practices using recycled materials when they can, and all the CO2 used in production is counterbalanced, leading to a carbon neutral impact. And so they make wonderful jewelry, rings, earrings, necklaces, and so I got to choose some new pieces to add to my everyday wearing because I just wear them every day. And one of the next Necklaces that I got goes so well with the previous two that I've gotten from Annalisa. You know how jewelry is. It just adds that extra oomph to your outfit. And you know how much I love rings, so I got two gold rings. You know I usually wear a silver set of thrifted jewelry pieces, but I do have a gold set of like family heirlooms and so I'm excited to add some new pieces so if you'd like to check these pieces out and all the other stuff they've got on their site because there's a lot of good stuff I have a discount code for you Catherine K 10 so you can use that at checkout as well as the link that is in the description and you're good to go with your new jewelry pieces thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video First day of school. Mom, please don't make me go. I have to go to school, but I still don't have clearance to enter the buildings. We have to submit our COVID test and our COVID vaccine proof, which I did submit my vaccine proof quite a while ago. And there's just, there's no like signifier that shows, oh, you submitted it. Like there's nothing that like what if something went wrong and it glitched and it didn't submit so I don't know that so I don't know if <laughs> they got that or not um, but then my COVID test I got tested on Friday and then it said it would take 72 hours to process and I was like oh I don't have 72 hours so I tried to expedite it but they basically said they couldn't do it so I was like why did you tell me you could expedite it though if I called but then it was fine because I got my results on Saturday and so I submitted it and I'm still waiting for clearance and if I don't get clearance then I'm not going to school so that's great first day of school vibes don't even know if I can go it's the first day of my senior year of college who would have thought I made it here I certainly didn't even think about it it did not occur to me when I started this school oh I'll be graduating this school as well like it didn't, I don't know what I envisioned for myself in the future, but was it this? I literally, people always ask what I want to do after I graduate or what I want to do in my future. I literally don't know. Stop asking. Today's class is contemporary photo books. I don't really know, okay? Photo books, you know, like books with photographs in it. Um, I don't know if we have to make our own. I thought we would just be examining and like learning about photo books and then I read the syllabus yesterday and I was like maybe that's not what it is but I have no choice these are all the classes this semester I have to stay in all of them because I need all of them to fulfill my credits for graduating that's just what life is at this point is doing classes because I have to graduate not because I want to not at all <laughs> I think by nature I'm probably a pessimist um, because I just like to be 
realistic. Uh, what a great start to my senior year. Senioritis in full flow, day one. My period's also coming, so I might just be PMSing, but no, I think these feelings are genuine. If you're new here, I'm photography major, art history minor. Although I'm not taking any art history classes this semester because I basically finished art history because all I want to do is study art history. But instead I decided to become a photography major, but then it was too late for me to drop out by the time I felt like I wanted to drop out because I was almost done. So now here I am in my senior year being like, please don't make me go through the year of this, but no, I must. I'm almost done. So positive vibes here. This is the first time I'm going on campus since March 11th, 2020, the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I did walk by it once and that was it. Uh, we were not allowed to enter the buildings. Oh, my camera just died. That's great. So it's just me, you and me, Mike. I'm just gonna do my makeup and then go play Splatoon. Yeah. Tuesday, my first class that I was like on the schedule doesn't actually like I not I don't actually have the class. Um, it's asynchronous. The next class is only an hour long, and then the third class is online, only this week. But I had cramps all night, so I had a terrible sleep, and now my cramps are really bad, and they hurt. <laughs> And uh, outside <laughs> TMI, but this is what being a woman is apparently. Um, so I'm not well today. <laughs> Thank you. 